Welcome to Encounter, where we celebrate putting faith into action and community leaders who live out compassion, grace, and love. We're a program of the Broome County Council of Churches that addresses food insecurity through chow and the Greater Good Grocery, provides hospital and jail ministry, builds wheelchair ramps, and assists neighbors with transportation and shopping services through Faith in Action volunteers. We invite you to the conversation, encounter your neighbors as we learn to walk together in love and kindness. Good morning and welcome to Encounter. I'm your host today, Joe Sullipak, the Executive Director at the Broome County Council of Churches. I love working with congregations and congregations have their own flavor. They also have their own celebrations and their festivals. And one of those celebrations and festivals we're gonna talk about today is the Apple Fest, which happens in Green at the, and it's hosted by the First, First United Methodist Church in Green. Um, to help me talk a little bit about that is Kay and Lorna. They're uh, the, the driving force, so to speak, behind the, the Apple Fest. They, they are the organizers and the people that put together the, that have done this um, ever since it started. How many years ago? 38, but only 37 because of the pandemic. Pandemic, so you, you skipped that year. We had to. But you've had it on for 37 years straight. Now that's, that's saying something right there, right? <laughs> it's almost like a job, right? Okay. <laughs> it feels like it sometimes, but that's not why we do it. <laughs> no. So, so tell me a little bit about why, why you do it. What, what, what is it about Apple Fest that you like a lot? Um, well, when you, when you have a congregation and you want to do things together, mm -hmm. you have someone, if we want to start in the beginning, 37, 38 years ago, mm -hmm. someone had a dream. Uh -huh. And this couple came to the group and said, I think we could do an Apple Fest. And they started talking with everybody and poof, we had the trial beginnings. And, and then we did the trial and error. And then we had our first Apple Fest. We had apples and we had pies and we had baked goods and apple things. And we had 12 crafters in a building at the Ball Flats, which is along the river in green. And it's a beautiful spread of land that used to be owned by the schools. Now it's owned by the town and the village of green. And they manage it because the school has their own, finally got a drainage system and got their own fields for football and stuff. So this, this is a lot of acreage along the edge of the river. So there's lots of room. And people came. Uh -huh. And the 12 little crafters and the one band, which I happen to play in, plays big band music. And we were at the first Apple Fest and we've been at every one since. And we practice in the church. That's how we, that came about. And we had music. And now we have upwards of 100 crafters and we have live free entertainment all day long. Wow. So it's- It uh, has grown. So, so and we have food. And the date, well, for, the date for Apple Fest this year? 28th of September, and, the last Saturday yeah. in September. And, and the hours for that? Nine to four. Nine to four, okay. Mm -hmm. So nine to four on September 28th. Um, and where is this located? It's not at the church, right? So oh, it's, no. No, so it's at the Ball Flats. At the Ball Flats. Yeah, which is, it's, what it is is um, our church is located on the south end of town. The town is one mile by one mile by one mile. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a square. Yep. And the downtown village is one mile. And at the intersection of Route 12 out of Binghamton and 206 out of Bainbridge and Whitney Point, the the, dist, the the business district is um, to the east of Route 12. <coughs> and along the river that you would cross is the Ball Flats. And okay. it's all you, along there, right down behind the town. So it's part of the town. It's in the town. So if people were coming Village. from Whitney Point or from Binghamton, they would be able to come either from 206 or 12. Right. Mm -hmm. And right where those two things intersect is kind of kind of where the, mm -hmm. the you are not going to miss it you right. are not <laughs> right well, and the traffic light it is a, um, a gas station on the corner and that you would 
take a, there's signs that say business district and you mm -hmm. turn down into the business district and there'll be You'll so know. many cars <laughs> and so many people. Um, the police have estimated that 10,000 people come wow. down. true. And we have, you know, we beg people to come serve food. We beg the not-for-profits to participate. The whole town is involved. Um, and everyone is invited to come because we do have shuttle buses and we do shuttle bus and we do have parking. So don't don't worry that oh well, why should we? It's too crowded because it isn't. When you get to the ball flats, there's a way to get there. Like I said, with a shuttle bus, and when you get there, you've got a whole free fun day to roam or to sit or what and listen to entertainment get pies if you want, whatever you want, yeah. sandwiches, whatever. Yeah. You can it's come a beautiful and, day. You can come and spend the whole day. It doesn't cost you a cent if you don't buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that's and, the point. But if you don't, you have, don't have to, to buy, to. you don't, you have, don't to have to pay to. for entertainment. You don't have to pay to come. It's your choice. Now, do you still do the Apple uh, Fest part of it with all the Apple things? <laughs> we try. You yes. try. Yes. And this, this, this year is proving to be kind of like a, a great year for apples, it seems to me. Mm -hmm. I, the more I've talked to people, as long as they don't get the get a really bad windstorm in the next uh, the next month. Well, that's Unless true. Unless you're us that have the frog pond in Bainbridge that gets us apples. Oh, yeah, that's true. And we have made strawberries, rhubarb, rhubarb, we will make cherry we have and made. apple pies to the tune of about 600 pies. pies. 600 pies? Yes. Well, yes. that's when you have 10,000 people coming through, it's 600 many. pies it is not going to go no, very far. But we can't do any more than that. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> even then you're only talking maybe about 1,000 pieces. Like, and prior to oh, we don't that. Cut, we don't cut them. We sell, oh, you we sell, sell, the, we sell pie. the pie. The pie itself, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. wow. So yeah. that's got to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> and prior to that, we make Welsh, before we start making pies, we make Welsh cookies, which we also sell. And then you have all the other various food choices that you can get what cider. Is a, what is a Welsh cookie? I, I don't know that. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> oh, it is delicious. Okay. But we'll, we'll it, has, it has currants. Currants. And nutmeg. And they're little cookies. They're a tea cookie. Okay. And um, we have great, great sales with those. People... People really look forward to Welsh cookies. So they're different, they're unusual. We, and you can probably answer more well, to the, the ingredients. <laughs> the, uh, there's not much sugar in them. Right. So they're, they're great for well, diabetics. That's a tea and cookie. They're, it's more of a tea cookie. But they, um, they're made on a griddle, mm -hmm. oh, like a little really? pancake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're about this big around. And they, because um, we have a cookie cutter. And the, the recipe that we have came from Wales. Okay. So this is a, this is an actual actual Wales cookie. Yeah, correct. Right. For real. <laughs> not not a W H A L E S. No. It's a no, W A L E S. No, no. <laughs> this is a Welsh cookie. Correct. You Excellent. Well, but very you know to add along with the pies that we sell and um, and like I say you don't have to buy anything. If you don't that's fine. We we're offering a stress-free free day. All right. To a community. And what she didn't add was that there's a kids zone that's totally free. Very true. Now what bounce. goes on in the kids All house? All right. We have giant checkers, giant mm -hmm. um, candy, land. candy land. Bounce house. Bounce um, houses. Face painting, pumpkin painting. Um, the pumpkin painting is separate from the, the kids zone. Oh, okay. But for a dollar you can paint a pick, uh, pumpkin. There and should be pony rides. Uh, they're separate, but yes, we have um, pony rides and, and actually mules too. I think oh, they, cool. last year they brought a mule. <laughs> you could ride a mule. Really? <laughs> so we yeah. can teach children the difference. Good. Yeah, good. Uh, between a mule and a pony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. And they had horses too. Oh, excellent. And they, um, the kids zone also has good old fashioned races like sack races. Yes. Getting the feed sacks. We have the original old feed sacks. And the kids have races, and they have giant bubbles. Giant bubbles. Giant bubbles. I love the giant bubbles. And a corn pool for little kids to sit in and shovel and play with the corn and all free. Yeah. So these, so they have sack races. So, so there's a competition involved for for some of the kids. Just for fun, yeah. Just fun kind of thing. I think he has little prizes. Three-legged race, that kind yes, of thing. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, the so, old stuff. So it's the old. It's kind of like this. Sounds like a community community celebration. It's a moment for the community to come together. Mm -hmm. Why not? For people to have fun, for the for, for children to to experience some of the 
the <laughs> old timey stuff that their grandparents might have experienced back right. in the day, right? Yeah. It's wonderful. Well, we wanted to provide a day, and that's how it started 38 years ago <laughs> <laughs> with one blip. And um, we wanted to provide a family fun day. And that was our mission, was to show our love to the community and to the world that shows up from everywhere these days. We are the church and right. we are here to serve you and this is what we have for you. However, we found out how much work it was and then we pleaded with all the other churches to help and we only had not for profit. Well, we can't get enough so we've had to let in other food trucks and stuff because right. we can't feed the people and people want food. But they've been very accommodating because they've made apple fritters They've made um, some, oh, the, the funnel cakes with apple yes, on yes. them. And, yes, the funnel um, cakes. The Grange, we still have the Granges that make um, yes. apple crisp. So we try to provide apple products. We have cider. We have um, apples, just just plain just fresh plain apples. apples. If somebody wants yeah. to buy some apples, yeah, that's have, a biggie. A lot of people yeah. ask right. for apples. You know, they want to do their own baking. So. Yeah, and they've come and bought a whole bushel. One, and we one have of them candy. The whole bushel. And we have candy apples. And, yeah. right. you know, we have and all donuts. Those. Uh, oh, apple yeah. cider coffee donuts. And a donut. cider apple and a donut. cider donuts <laughs> and coffee. And we're all, our church is located pretty much anymore in the building that's there. It's a concession stand from the old days when the football field was there, it's a big concession stand. They use it on Labor Day and stuff. And that is our central. And some people say, well, we can't find the apples. You don't have any <laughs> apples. Well, we used to have big bins outside. But well, we, we keep them in. Yeah, we keep them inside now. But we have the signs right there next to the pie signs. But they can't right, find, right, right. Please, they can't folks, find the if apples. you want apples, we have them. We can direct you to them. We can show you. Them. Well, we are the apple fest, yes. right? And we have we have signs everywhere. And, right. And it, it says it up above, you know. And okay. Because it's, lots of times you do. You want apples or you don't want to have to spend yeah. a lot of money. You might have to spend somewhere else where you don't know what the inside of the bag looks like. And we'll like. sell you one apple. Yeah. You know, your kid wants an apple, you we'll can sell have you an, an apple, apple. Yeah, but you can get a not? bag full, you know. <laughs> so my guests today are, are Kay and Lorna, and we're talking about Apple Fest, which is taking place at 9 o'clock, between 9 and 4 on uh, September 28th in Green on the Ball Flats at the corner of 16 and... No, 12, 12 and... 12, 12 and 206. 12 and 206. Six, right. I, I, I knew I was going to get that wrong. 12 and 206. <laughs> and, and they have a... Um, y y 100 crafters now oh, over that's 100, yeah. that's going to be that's an interesting interesting mix right mm -hmm. so how like what what kind of things can you find there oh for heaven's sakes um people love to make things we get beautiful uh you know your dish towels or right. baby clothes or pet jackets uh homemade the soaps the essential oils everything that ladies like to get as well as nice things for gentlemen too but tie dye, tie -dye you can get things for, get things for Christmas. Uh, jewelry, um, again, essential oils oh, made in, wood. put into things. Oh, the oh, wood crafters. The wood, crafters are, <gasps> the wood beautiful. crafting is yeah. beautiful. Wreaths, um, door decor, you know, all those kinds of things. Uh, it's hard to think when you're thinking of around 100 crafters. You I know, know I but, know you're uh, talking a lot, of, uh, and maybe even some overlap. Jewelry, a lot oh, of sure, yeah. of course, jewelry. yeah, which is also nice because I like that. Let me see if I like another one better, and then well, you end yeah. up getting a couple of things. And, and I would imagine if you have 10,000 people coming through, you may end up running out of things, too. Well, well, that's the crafters. That's their situation. Um, that's their, they, yeah. they, they, know, know. they come every year. We get a lot, of, uh, mostly repeat business, so they know what they need to, to uh, do to get the desired result for themselves. So, so the, all of this started because of a church wanting to figure out how to connect with its community, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So First United Methodist Church must be a, a, a welcoming and a, a beautiful place to, to worship, isn't it? <laughs> I think we it try. is. It's wonderful. We try. <laughs> so so let, let's talk a little bit about your church. What, why is this important to the congregation? It that. just feels like all of us who are there are of the same mindset to want to reach out and include more people. Have more people just know the joy and the love that comes from being in church and with Christ. 
Mm -hmm. there's, there's a word, koinonia. 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 Yeah, the koinonia. And to me, that's the epitome of it. It's um, the fellowship in Christ that creates a sense of community. And when we work together on any project, as well as the Apple Fest, any project at all, whether it was the fish we fries do others. in the past, <laughs> yeah, fish fries, just, just the ladies and men that make the cookies and the pies. My husband mixes the pie dough. <laughs> and, you know, just peeling the apple, the kids all with the little apple peelers peeling the apples, and then we put them on, and then they peel them, and then our they arms are like falling. Yeah. You know, everybody, um, we had two, two children making, helping make the pies, and they learned to, um, they, they like to roll it because they roll Play-Doh, so they were, they were good at it. <laughs> Some of the ladies don't want to roll. But you're trying to instill in children, you know how it is as a child growing up, all of a sudden you're older and you don't know how you decided to learn or feel this way, but you do, and that's what you're trying to do, instill in the children that you want to grow up in the church and you want to keep being a servant of the community, if possible, yeah. anywhere possible. We have, so. we have before the pandemic, we had a lot of children right. and a lot of children in Sunday school, and they are slowly coming back. And the, the faithfuls that are still there and they're getting bigger and, and more able, they, they were there in their baby carriages. Oh, wow. And, you know, we had literally the grandmas that babysat them <laughs> so that everybody could do a job at the, at the Apple Fest because everybody pitches in in our church. And by choice. By choice. And the, and the kids, as babies, their parents couldn't do what they wanted to do to help. So we got people to watch the kids and take them here and there. And they'd take shifts and then they'd go with their children. Or one, one of the parents would work and the other would watch the kids. Because um, now those children are making the pies and they're wanting to help in the summer because they, they're not in school. And it, it's just fun to, to watch the kids like, oh, I want to help sell the pies. Right, you know? right. So, so you say to the parent, yes, your children can help. You oversee them, make sure the money and everything's right. And, and you've got the six, seven, eight, nine, all the kids that can handle it are participating. And they, um, especially in the pumpkin, that's where they start out, the pumpkin painting booth. Right, Because right. Um, they have to watch the paint, and they have to fill the paint, and they have to make sure the kids <laughs> don't get the paint all over. Oh, yeah. You know, and you get the black pumpkin that the kids I'm sure painted they're all get, black. They're, they're, the paint is going to go all over anyway. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> but we have it set up, and we've got lots of paper towels and cloths. And, this is fun. And, uh, and they're and little pumpkins. The they're just little pumpkins. Yeah. And then they have drying racks, so the kids put them on the drying rack, and, and the kids, you know, parents stand there and watch their kids doing this and the kids are helping the other kids and, and the children are having a good time and but that's the point you want you want people to walk away children adults I really enjoyed that I guess I'll do it again and then it builds and it builds and <laughs> and, and we're just a happy place <laughs> so koinonia is an interesting word mm -hmm. oh yeah it's one of those words that I, I don't think that we you know, that we know the depth of it. You know, I am the Reverend Dr. Joe Selipak, mm. and so when you bring up a theological term. Oh, I had to. <laughs> you <happy>. had, <laughs> I, you know, it, 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 creates, it creates in, in me a, a memory. And one of the memories that I had from seminary had to do with the term koinonia and its relationship to the word economy. Hmm. It is, an, it's actually the root word of economy koinonia and economy kind of go together because economy is how we relate to each other. E koinonia is all about relationship. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. It's very, oh, yes. very rooted in mm -hmm. relationship. So, so economy and, and koinonia kind of go hand in hand. And what you're trying to do in this event is create, create a, a place or, a, or a, um, an economy where people can come together, have a good time, uh, experience uh, commonality between people mm -hmm. and, you, you, and, and, and also experience apples, you know, which is <laughs> kind true. of what's drawing everybody together. And, and, and in a way, I mean, this is a microcosm of, of the, like you had said before, this is an expression of love from the church to the, to the community and it's drawing people into that relationship. It's a beautiful story. It's a wonderful story it's and a 38-year-old story. And it's the only reason we do it. Yeah. Because 
it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. At First United Methodist Church, our mission is to serve and love Christ. Right. And Apple Fest is one way we do it. Yeah. And and that's an important that's an important connection too, is 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 the, the faith that you all have and the and how it's given expression inside of this um, in this beautiful event that you put together. So uh, you play. You must play an instrument if you are part of the band. I, I do. <laughs> what, what do you play? I play an alto sax. <laughs> alto sax. Uh -huh. Well, this is a kind of a cool thing. There's about 12 to 14 of us that get together for fun, and uh, we just play. She has a son that plays. He'll My be there. My son will be in Alpha Brass that day. They play at 1230. I'm not sure what time Moonlighters play. I think play, it's 10 or 11 in the morning. But he plays trumpet. And, mm -hmm. uh, and the Alpha Brass will be there. There'll be so much entertainment there, and so, it's all free. So the entertainment, it, it, the, is it all big band kind no, of thing? No, no, no. Wow. it's a variety. There's, there's country, country, there's big band, there's jazz. There's just, <laughs> there's just music. A lot. <laughs> yeah. And, and is it, it, does it go on all the way through the day, like in, in hour increments, or? Uh, usually, usually an hour to an hour and 15 minute yeah. per group. There's like 15 minutes between where people have to get up on the, we have a flatbed truck that's donated, and um, they they have all the sound equipment and everything up there. Mm -hmm. So we have a sound person, mm -hmm. so that we can make announcements and and um, and project the music out over the whole community, and then um, the bleachers to sit on to watch the music mm -hmm. and relax because you're tired and you want to walk around and get some food and you sit down on the bleachers. There's a picnic area to take your food to to sit under the new little pavilion and um, but each group brings to, their yeah, own and bring instruments their stuff. et cetera. So you have to switch. So they have right. to have a little time so in between, which isn't 40. very much. Yeah, it's about and some of them probably have even electronics that they have oh, to yeah. kind sure. of hook up oh, and sure. all that kind of yeah. stuff sure. too, yeah. Just just in order to project right. like the piano over a big band because you're talking trombones, trumpets, That's saxophones right. and right. Uh, trombones and, and, and drums. It's loud. It so, is. It's very loud. Yeah. My, my son was a trombone player and my, my daughter was a alto sax player. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and she also played, um, she, she also started off as a clarinet player. So it's yeah, one of those. So did I. And, That's she, wonderful. and my, son, my son graduated into tuba at one point in time, <laughs> which was interesting. So uh, yeah, I, I, I've, uh, I, I've, I've a special part in my heart for uh, musicians. So, oh, uh, I do too. Yeah, yeah. And well, especially if your son is one of the players, right? Both of my sons can play trumpet, and the one can play drums, the other can play guitar. My older son chose to make it a profession, and he is with Alpha Brass. Oh, okay. And many other bands, actually. But Alpha Brass is playing at our Apple Fest. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So this sounds like a great community day for people to come out, come together, and, um, and experience, the, experience a little koinonia. That's right. And, uh, and, and be able to experience God's love, God's grace. Yeah. And it's not just us. The, the crafters and the, the food vendors will say, what a great day, Absolutely. you know? And we try to keep peace in the day, which is sometimes difficult because there's a lot of people. We try to provide what people need. And, and um, for the most part, you get what you it. project. And if yeah. you project the love and the smiles and the joy, yeah. it'll be given back to you. Right. And that's what we're wanting to mm -hmm. give every year. Now, now um, both of you had indicated earlier that you've been doing this for 38 <laughs> years and that you, you are looking for help, I would imagine. Um, how, we always look for help. <laughs> how, how might a person be able to volunteer to help you out? Well, it was funny because somebody said that, that we were just talking out here. Um, they started, their kids started <clears throat> with the garbage because you get to ride around on the little Oh, vehicles, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. and you jump off and you get the garbage and you take it to the dumpster. And um, there's always a job. Right. You can stand there and direct traffic. You can stand there and <coughs> greet people. You can stand there and direct people where they need to go. As much as you can put signs up, people don't see them. Now, how, so, would, how would a person, if they wanted to, con to, to, um, to, volunteer, to volunteer, how would they, would, how would they connect with you? Just call the church. Call the church. And then what's the number for the church? 
Do now, you, know that? you would four have. 4161. Is it 4161? I know it's 656. Six. You know, everybody going to cell phones, it's hard to remember all the numbers I know. anymore. So it's 607. <laughs> yes. Six, We're on five, Facebook. Six. Let's put it this way. We're Facebook, on Facebook would probably be the first best way. First Congregational Church. No, first United, no, first Methodist, United Methodist Church. Sorry. Of Green. Of first, Green. And first the, United the, Methodist yeah. Church of Green. Of the, Green. The, the uh, acronym is F U M C of Green. FUMC. FUMC. <laughs> All right. And we're like, nobody knows what FUMC stands for. First United, United Methodist, Methodist Church, Church of, Green. of Green. And we're on Facebook. And um, that can, would be the best and, way. You know, our church services are on at 1030 every Sunday on, FUMC, on Facebook. Under which you FUMC. Can see. <laughs> FUMC. And um, so that's on there. But you can just send a message through that. Oh, on and, Facebook. And Michelle Michelle Clark is, yes. your, is your minister, right? Yes, right Pastor now. Michelle yeah, Clark. Pastor Michelle, Pastor Michelle Clark. Clark. She's a, um, a wonderful person. I love Michelle. We um, think so. I like her husband, Bob, too. <laughs> oh, yes, we know they're, him. They're a clergy, they're a clergy couple, so right. they, they both have, they both have uh, um, First United Methodist Church is in their That's resume, right. don't That's they? That's right. That's yeah. true. He usually is there, too. Yeah, yeah, he, he usually is. comes. The, well, this sounds like an amazing day for you all. And, um, and, and if people want to connect with you again, they can go onto, the, onto your Facebook site, Correct. which is under First, First, United First United Methodist, Methodist Church, Church. Fomk of Green. Uh -huh. and, um, or they can call the church. Or the um, website is the same. Okay. It's under, um, you know, the dot com. All right. Funk. Funk. <laughs> dot com. Or six. It's under, it, yeah, so there's a website also. And if someone wants to be a crafter, because um, we still are taking crafters, um, there's always room. It's a huge ball flats. And um, the, all the applications are online on the, on, the, um, on the website. Up in the corner, there's the little lines, and you can get all the information you need if you're a crafter or a food booth. Everything's online. Everything's we had to get modernized. <laughs> <laughs> this, is in, this is incredible. So in our last 30 seconds, if you had one word to describe your congregation, the church of the, the First United Methodist Church of Green, what would that word be? My word would be love. Love. And, and it's because of the love that people express to each other and the love they express to, their, to, to God. Yes, sir. Yes. And faithful. Faithful would be your word? And persevering persevering well yes. of course <laughs> of course perseverance is a huge thing and it's our church and it's our god so we're in there <laughs> you're in there well Forever. i want to thank lorna you and and kay for um for the work that you do for apple fest september 28th at nine o'clock on the ball flats in green people be there because it's <laughs> and and look it's for the, the shuttle place to bus be that day. Wave at the bus and they will stop and get you. All right, very good. There are an awful lot of people besides just us that put this together. So thank you. Oh, yes, thank you. A for lot of people. We're not the head. All right. They yeah. sent us. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for being on and for all of you who are watching today. I pray that you would be good and gentle with each other. Have a great day. <laughs>